Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nikki Bobby here, and today we are going to be adding grip to our RC rock crawler tires. Now, your tires are one of the most important parts of your rock crawler, and you want to make sure that these have as much grip as possible. So we're going to be adding extra grip and making them more sticky by using WD-40 and one of these foam brushes. Now these two items are very inexpensive. You can pick them up from the store or chances are you might even have these at your home. And these two items are going to be what makes our tires more sticky. So let's jump right in to the video. Okay, so real quick, before we jump into the video, one thing I do want to mention is for the best results, you want to have your tires super, super clean. Now, if you haven't already checked out my video on how to clean your tires, go do that right now. I'll have a link in the description below. And you, yeah, you want to just get these nice and clean before you apply the WD-40. Otherwise, it's just not going to turn out as well. So go check out that video, go clean your tires, and then come back and we'll make them nice and sticky. Okay guys, so let's get to work. I've already told you what you need, just a can of WD-40 and a foam brush. So the first thing that you want to do once you have your supplies together is go ahead and turn your car over like I have here. Now you can't just take the wheel off all together and that works just fine, but you know there's a lot of bolts right in here that I have to take out in order to do that. So I figured, well, I'm just going to turn it over and it should work just as well. So once you've done that, Go ahead and grab your foam brush and your can of WD-40 and you want to spray the WD-40 onto the foam brush. Don't spray it onto the tire directly because it's going to get it everywhere and make a big mess. So just spray it onto the foam brush like this. Alright, great. So you, you won't need a lot by the way, just a little bit. Then once you have it on your brush, you go ahead and just spread it out across the tread of your tire like this. Alright, just like that. Make sure you get all the way around the wheel. Now, you don't need to do your sidewall. You can if you want, but you certainly don't need to. It really just matters most when it's on the tread. So, now you know the steps, go ahead and do it to all four of your tires. Alright guys, so we're back and it's been about 30 minutes and I'm checking out my tires. They look pretty good actually. Um, at this point, usually what you'd want to do is grab a paper towel and just wipe them down and get any excess off. Uh, but I put a pretty thin layer on and so they really don't look that bad so I'll probably just leave them. But yeah, if you have any uh, WD-40 that's kind of pooling up or dripping or anything like that, definitely wipe it off, wipe off any excess. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and wait some more. Now this time, we want the, the WD-40 to soak in completely, and that'll take about three or four hours. So I know it's a long time to wait, but it's definitely going to be worth it. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. All right, guys, so we are back. It's been about three or four hours since I had wiped them clean, all the excess, and these tires are super, super sticky. I mean, you can, you can see the bottom is just sticking to the ground there as I move it back and forth and it also has a nice sticky sound to it too as it kind of moves on the surface and yeah I mean I know it might be a little bit tricky to tell you know in the video but you gotta take my word for it these tires are super sticky and I think it's gonna make a big difference out on the rock crawling course so that is how you give your tires more grip and that's gonna wrap up this video let me know what you thought of this video, let me know if you liked it, and let me know how it works out for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.